A new report out of Japan says damage to reactor number one was much worse than originally thought, and it was leaking water, most likely leaving those dangerous fuel rods exposed. And yet some residents were recently allowed back in to the evacuation area to gather personal belongings. This is the latest in a string of what seemed to be conflicting information and actions out of Japan. To help us cut through this double talk, famous physicist and author of Physics of the Future, Professor Michio Kaku is here. Professor Kaku, thank you so much for joining us. Glad to be on the show. So, first, let's begin with where things are. You still think this is a dangerous and unstable situation? This is a ticking time bomb. It's stable, but only until we have another earthquake or another pipe break. At that point, water levels could drop, exposing the core, and the accident starts up all over again. The nightmare is not over yet. But what does it mean that they went, when they went in recently, they found water was lower than they'd expected, possibly meaning that the rods in reactor one had been exposed? What does that mean in terms of radiation leakage and how close we were to a meltdown? The problem is that we have firemen and brave workers putting water on top of the cores, but the cores are not filling up. There's a leak someplace. Water is actually spilling out, meaning that there's damage to the containment structure. And if water keeps coming out, it means more contaminated water that's building up thousands of tons of water being stored in tanks. Some of that, as you know, was released into the ocean, causing an international scandal and incidents with Korea and China. Do we, now, do we know what the parameters are? How far has that water gone? Is it going into tanks or is it contained in some way? So far, it's contained. They brought in extra tanks and they had to, of course, bleed some of the radioactive water into the ocean to make room for more water. So think of it. Every time they put water in, it's coming out. There's a leak, which means damage to the containment may be more severe than originally thought. And how about the rods themselves? The fact that the rods have been exposed, does that mean that they are hotter than they would have been since the water is not absorbing he heat or energy? That's right. The tops of the reactors apparently are permanently uncovered. So we're not talking about water being many, many feet above the core. We're talking about water level dropping actually below the top of the cores themselves, causing damage. And that's dangerous because we don't know the amount of melting that has taken place. A huge question mark. There are debates among physicists exactly how much melting has taken place. Now, one of the things I saw, they're going to put polyester tents over the reactor. Now, look, I've heard they're polyester suits, polyester and toys. Does polyester stop radiation? It does not. Uh, uh, gamma rays will go right through radiation suits, right through plastic. All it does, it keeps some of the particulates in. So we're building this gigantic tent, hoping that some of the cesium iodine particles don't escape, because that gets into the food chain. And then we have the problems with milk, the problems with uh, sushi being contaminated. And so that's why they hope to contain the, 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 the particulates and the dust from getting into the environment. Now, one of the things that has been notable, the Japanese leadership has not been forthright with the public. It has not been transparent in any way, shape, or form. And you have accused them of not being honest about what they're telling the public. Have they gotten better over the course of this crisis? I don't think so. They, the bottom line is they're trying to protect their investments and, you know, to try to salvage the reactor. Those reactors cannot be salvaged. They're pieces of junk right now. So the workers, I have the ultimate respect for the workers. But the managers, their incompetence, they've lost, uh, the people have lost faith in them. You get this mental image of, of Homer Simpson operating a nuclear power plant. Does the public there have any confidence remaining in the government? It's dropping like a rock. Uh, people are saying that first they're going to evacuate us, then they're going to take us back, they're going to evacuate, it goes back and forth. And the government and the utility are even fighting. And so we have the situation where there's no united front, people are losing faith, and people are saying, who's in charge here? I mean, who really knows what's happening? The, in fact, American engineers have contradicted the statements of the Japanese government, making the Japanese government look like, like foolish. And how long will it be until the people who live in the area surrounding these plants will be able to go back and live in those houses? Well, at Chernobyl, uh, there's a dead zone that 25 years later is still uh, uh, off limits. The reactor will take about 30 years to clean up. Hitachi Corporation. 30 years. 30 years. That's the estimate of the Hitachi Corporation. The major estimate is 30 years to clean up that operation. Three Mile Island took 14 years and there was no breach of containment at uh, Three Mile Island. It was only one unit. Here we have three reactors, one fed spent fuel pond, possible breach of containment. 30 years is about accurate. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that report. Michio Kaku, thanks for being here. Not good news, I'm afraid to say. Up next. Three